everyone welcome to topic of the day in this edition we are going to talk about microplastics in human blood now recently this topic was in news as microplastics have been detected in human blood for the first time with scientists finding tiny particles in almost 80% of the people tested let us discuss a bit more about the study about half of these were pet that is polyethylene ter terephthalate plastics which are used to make food grade bottles the rest are polyethylene which are generally used in making plastic carry bags and then we have polymers of styrene that are used in food packaging in this study 77% of the people tested that is 17 out of 22 people carried various amounts of microplastics above the limit of quantification in 50% of the samples the researchers detected pet particles in 36% they found the presence of polystyrene so what are microplastics? Microplastics, non-degradable and insoluble small plastic pieces less than 5 mm long, which can be harmful to our ocean and aquatic life. These are classified as primary microplastics and secondary microplastics. If we talk about primary microplastics, the particles are already 5 mm in size or less before entering the environment. For example, microbeads and plastic pellets, which are also known as nurdles. If we talk about secondary microplastics, these are created from the degradation of larger plastic products once they enter the environment through natural weathering process. For example, soda bottles, fishing nets and plastic bags. If we talk about health concerns related to microplastics, Microplastics limit the oxygen carrying capacity of the red blood cells. Also, the human placenta has been shown to be permeable to the tiny particles of polystyrene. In rats, microplastic translocation is seen in placental and fetal tissues. Also, microplastics can cause damage to the human cells. If we talk about its impact, they can impact the marine ecology, altering the food chain, harming agriculture, also genetic modification, and thus leading to diseases in human beings. Certain initiatives on microplastics pollution are elimination of single-use plastics by 2022, plastic waste management rules 2016 that involves banning of less than 50 micron thick plastic bags, plastic waste management rules 2018 which introduced the concept of extended producer responsibility. Also, India is signatory to the Marpol Convention. Then we have the global efforts like beat plastic pollution to address plastic pollution. India has also launched Plastic Pact, initiative in Asia to ensure effective recycling of plastic packaging. Now let us take up a practice question on this topic. Why is there a great concern about microbeads that are related, that are released into the environment? A. They are considered harmful to the marine ecosystem. B. They are considered to cause skin cancer in children. See, they are small enough to be absorbed by crop plants in irrigated fields. And D, they are often found to be used as food adulterants. You can write your answers in the comments section below. So the correct answer is A, that is, they are considered harmful to the marine ecosystem. Well, that's a wrap of today's topic of the day. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. To study these topics in detail, you can also check the daily current affairs section on our website. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.